Hi, it's DJ Rostar. Hello, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sydney from Echo Smith. Welcome back. This is our uh, second interview. Thanks. This time we have left my bedroom and we are now uh, here on a different couch. Backstage at the Roxy on some <laughs> old janky furniture. Not in your bedroom. Not in my bedroom. Last time we spoke, it was May, right before Warp Tour. How has your life and career changed since then? A lot. <laughs> um, it's been insane. Warp Tour is crazy, and it was really cool. We didn't know what to expect with it. Um, we didn't even know if anybody would like us, but it was kind of the opposite, so it was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, it went really great for us, and then we've been doing a lot of random shows and random things since, and now we're doing the other side tour, and it's almost over, and that's been insane. Just cool building off the fan base that we had at Warp Tour, and of course new fans every night. Yes. But it's cool to see people who already know us and are singing along to all the songs. It's That's pretty, awesome. pretty insane to see that, you know. And it's only 5:30 right now, and there's already people lined up around the. Uh, side oh of the yeah, building. yeah. Some people will line up as early as like 11 or 12, which is crazy. That's awesome. Even so in have, these cold states. <laughs> have you been collecting anything on this tour? Like, do you have to buy something in each state? Uh, I started at first buying chocolate in every state, and then I ended up eating it or losing it. And then it just was too much. I don't know. And then I forgot. And then I tried taking a Polaroid every day, and that lasted for three days. And then I started to forget, and it didn't work. So I'm really bad at this whole yeah. like, consistent thing. Seems like you're forgetting a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm consistent when it comes to like life stuff, but when it comes to like doing something for fun, yeah, that I'm not super super passionate about, then I'm like, okay, forget so, it. <laughs> you have yet to forget the lyrics during your performance. Or Do I forget you? it? Have oh, I, forgot? I forget it all the time. Or I mess it up. Or I. The thing that is. You need really a monitor cool, with the lyrics in front of you. Hey, some people do that, and I think it's a great idea. I probably will do that one day. But, anyways. Um, <laughs> but I do think that it's a really cool thing, but almost kind of bad for me, the fact that people are singing along to all the songs now, or there are some people doing that, and if I mess up a lyric, sometimes I'll be looking at someone who's singing it back to me, and I'm like, I just messed it up, and then they look so confused, because yeah. then they think like either I'm wrong or she's wrong, or they know that I'm wrong. Anyways. Yeah, but you can get away with it, because you're the performer, you can be changing the lyrics. Yeah, it's true, I did it on purpose. Exactly. It's not like I forget all the time. <laughs> so what's the plan after this tour ends? Uh, well, we have a few more shows, um, one in Cleveland, and a couple of random things, one in LA also that we're doing this like stripped down holiday party kind of thing okay. at Warner, which she'll be soon. We'll and get then, the invite, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Thank Everyone gets the invite, of course. It's, it'll be really fun, and mm -hmm. then um, we have a lot in December off, which will be nice, and then we have a lot of touring next year. A lot. So Already in the works, huh? Oh yeah, there's a lot in the works, but nothing is announced yet. So but you can tell us right now. Go. Ah, I wish. <laughs> New music as well. Um. Yeah. Well, we actually have a Christmas song coming out. Okay. In the next couple it's weeks. A Christmas original. Uh, no. Okay. It's actually I heard the bells on Christmas Day. Longest name ever. I know. I don't know it. You have to. Yeah, I didn't know it either. Okay. So they, <laughs> I who, still who, need to who work chose on the this. song? Uh, I think we could look through a list of like, I don't know, some sort of. I don't know, some sort of Christmas song list. And anyways, and Jamie found this one. He's like, hey, we can make this one really cool. So we did it, and we did it very Christmas style. Doesn't even sound like a Christmas song half the time, except for the little bells every once in a while. Are you the type of person that listens to Christmas music all year round? I try to. Every in once in a while, I, I'll i just pull out, not pull out, I guess it's on my phone, but I'll listen to the Michael Buble um, Christmas album that he did last year, I think, or the year before. Yeah, I love it, and I listen. I listened to it at the beach right before we left Woo! for this tour, and it works. I like it. They're excited about <laughs> the play off camera. Yeah, he really is excited about my Christmas music. What's choice. on your uh, <laughs> What's on your Christmas uh, Christmas list? Oh, that's a good question. Have you well, been Have you been naughty or nice? First of all, uh, I think nice. Okay, I don't know, I'm trying. <laughs> so what do you want for Christmas? I want a real Polaroid camera. Or something, some sort of camera. I don't okay. know, something cool. Um, and but you're gonna forget to take pictures after like. I know, four days. forget it's it. A waste of money. <laughs> um, forget that, Santa. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think just I don't know. I don't know actually. That's See, a good question. You only have like six weeks left. I, mean, I already have a lot of what I could ever want. Um, I have so many Chipotle gift cards. I can't even count them for okay. fans, which is really cool. And yeah, so I don't really know anymore. Huh, what about Thanksgiving? That's a little bit sooner. How do you uh, celebrate? Do you cook? Do you help out? Uh, I try. I always have one project every year that I do that usually is the one that's like, oh, that's cute that she made that, you know? But it's not really... Sometimes it is really I know good. you hate the word cute. No. <laughs> cute is actually one of my favorite words. I call it... Yeah, I don't know. I use it all the time. But anyways, 
I sometimes, I don't know, I'm not the best cook in the world, so I try every once in a while. Holiday parties, are you still at the kids' table? Because I'm still at the kids' table. <laughs> I'm much older than you. We don't even have holiday parties anymore. All our family's so far away. So, I mean, the last holiday party, which was like one or two years ago, I actually was at the kids' table, but I have more fun with the kids sometimes. Yeah, that so. makes sense. Because I'm always with adults. So all you, the time. you mentioned the Christmas song before I uh, before we leave. Is there any other music uh, in the future, or that's that's the only thing that's definitely for done? No, that's it. But lots of touring, and whoever's watching this will probably coming to a city near you very well, soon. Well, that sounded uh, so advertising. Ne next uh, year, was. in 2014, on tour, how many songs at that point will you be playing live? Uh, it depends. You only have so many, uh, right? <laughs> we have, yeah, we only have so many. But how many are there? Uh, well, we have 12 on the normal and then 14 on the well, deluxe. Yeah. By the way, get our album if you haven't already, Talking Dreams. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, some will headline and some will open up for people, so it might be a half hour set or an hour set. We might do the whole record, you never know. Will you play the Christmas song? Uh, in these next couple shows, yeah. Okay, but that's a rarity. Next year. Uh, next year, I don't know about that one. Maybe, maybe people really like it. It really catches on. Then cool. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll give, see. give it all your web pages before we go. Where can they find you? Everything is Echo Smith, but you can start at echosmith.com because it has a link to literally everything. So check it out. Thanks for being a good 